So the idea was to build a platform and, and a multi-rotor that's you know, a lot more than just a flying camera. Something that can you know, play games and race with and have, you know, follow you around, even to be able to see commercial use cases um, and be able to you know, be easy enough for any consumer to fly who's never flown a multi-rotor before, all the way to a, you know extreme hobbyist and racer and developer who wants to start building apps for it. Fully modular, we wanted to make it as easy as possible and as integrated and refined you know, for the consumer who doesn't want to modify anything. It's super easy to fly for them out of the box. It gives them so much capability, but then it's fully upgradable and modifiable um, so that you know, hobbyists can plug in whatever equipment they want. They can upgrade the look of it, the, the speed, or flight time. So these are three teals uh, with different configurations. This is sort of the standard package that comes out of the box. Uh, gets the user flying. It has a 4K camera integrated, fully electronically stabilized, the supercomputer built in, and then it's fully upgradable with, with these configurations, for example. So we've got the prop guards, the FPV cover. Uh, the idea behind this was to make it as expandable as possible so that users can tune into their flight style or, or the use case that they want to fly it for. So instead of just being a flying camera, we can also play games with it, we can race with it, you can toss it up in the air, have it follow you around, and then developers can actually start to build apps around this, and we can build an app store of use cases and, and uh, uh, you know, see what's possible in this space. So you designed it pretty much entry level to advanced hobbyist and beyond, correct? Exactly. So can we, wanted you talk this to be the, we wanted this to be the one drone for your life. So instead of just being a flying camera, it, it, you know, it can do so much more than that and, and suit a wide variety of people. So instead of you know, just, just one type of market, we're going after the consumer who's never flown before. They don't know about this technology. Uh, you know, they, they don't really know what's capable with this yet, but, but we want to make it as easy as, and as accessible as possible for them. So we have these beginner modes that, that let them you know, start flying really easily and, and make it extremely safe. Uh, and then moving up all the way from the consumer to the hobbyist and the racer who want to push their technology further, uh, you know, push the boundaries of, of what they're doing currently, you know, race, uh, play games with it, and then developers who want to start building apps around this with their SDKs to start building out this, this critical mass of software and, and applications. So instead of just being a drone for, for one specific application, we can be a, a multi-use uh, aerial platform. And so out of the box, you know, we'll be launching with three of our own applications. Uh, our company will be. The first is a command and control that, that lets users start flying. It has waypoint navigation, geofencing, all the basics to, to start flying and, and see what's capable with this, this platform. It has uh, a beginner mode where users can hit takeoff. The, the quadcopter will go up about 20 feet, generate a virtual bubble around itself so that uh, you can learn your controls and orientation without it flying away and crashing. Um, and once you get good enough, you can just disable that and start flying like normal. And then the second app that we're working on is Follow Me Mode, where you just toss this up in the air and have it follow them around based on image recognition that's done real time on the super supercomputer. The third app that we're building is a racing and gaming mode, where users can log their flights and telemetry, be able to compete against other people virtually online, and also augment, also integrate some augmented reality where you can actually fly through obstacles and, and feel like you're going through a race course even though you're just in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Ready, set, go! <laughs> So we're using the, the TX1, which is our main processor. That's what takes in a lot of the different sensor data, processes it, manipulates it, and then it actually sends that data to redundant flight controller. And so that way, if, if a developer you know, messes something up on the TX1, it won't crash. It still has that redundant flight controller to, to fly and land itself. So out of the box, we have the, the camera. Obviously, that gives us uh, 4K video, 13 megapixel stills. Gives us image recognition capability. We have that supercomputer integrated, and then the inertial navigation system, which has a GPS receiver, magnetometer, barometer, gyro, and accelerometer. It combines all the data coming in from those sensors and 
uh, channels it through one stream, so it gives you a lot better flight accuracy and estimations. Also gives us differential and RTK GPS capability, so we can get up to about uh, or get to about a couple centimeter accuracy with GPS instead of you know big six foot range. Um, and then expandable sensors could be thermal imaging, obstacle avoidance systems, anything that, that you know, can run basically over USB or I2C, URI, SPI, uh, anything that, that uh, you know, a computer can run. So we're manufacturing here in the States. We're doing our PCB, our, our assembly and our packaging in, in the Rockies, and then doing our plastic injection molding in Texas. And so we're using a carbon infused plastic, which is close to the strength to weight ratio of, of carbon fiber. Uh, but it's plastic, so we can mold it, streamline it, uh, make it aerodynamic. But it still has that durability where you know you can have a brick wall impact and, and you know, this won't break. But if it does, for whatever reason, then the arms are modular, you can plug them in and out, replace them really quickly, within a couple seconds, really, and get back in the air. Three, two, yeah. one, go! Oh, Jeez! <laughs> Alright, nice. Nice. Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I can totally tell you have raced before. <laughs> no, it's fun. This is uh, 